but it's all to you with camp. So can you get kind of look back over how training camp went for your group, offense-wise, I guess? Uh, you know, I think that uh, we're ahead of where we were last year, no question. Um, we're, we're healthier, obviously, so there's more guys getting more consistent reps. And uh, up front, we're still trying to find the right combination, the right guard, but the other four guys have been coming along really well. Um, I think that our, our backs have a chance to be a really good group. Um, Receiver-wise, you know, everybody has high expectations for Rat, and uh, he hasn't disappointed this camp. Uh, Deami Brown is an impressive, really impressive freshman. And, uh, you know, we know when Toad, Daz, and Jackson are out there, they can do some really good things. And then at uh, tight end, you know, um, Carl's been really steady like he has been. And Vargas has improved. And so has Walston and Turner. So, you know, and then Nate has been a consistent guy. And our young quarterbacks have really come along. And, you know, for that matter, Chaz probably had his best camp he's had since he's been here. It's rare to see a, a true freshman play a lot on the offensive line. But is William Barnes, has he adapted well enough to be able to play some? He's going to be able to play. There's no doubt. Um, you know, there's still freshman moments, like you expect. But physically, he can do it. There's no question. He can't overwhelm them. We need to keep things, you know, maybe smaller for him at times until he just starts getting that experience and feel more confident. But he has all the tools, and, and he's going to have a chance to play. Sometimes early experience can backfire on a, on a young kid. But in William's case, is, does he strike you as the kind of kid he gets out there, makes a few mistakes? That's maybe the best thing for him is to move past that early stage point? Well, as painful as it is, you learn more from your mistakes, right? So, you know, he has a bad whatever it is, technique, assignment. We can correct it on the field, correct it in the film room, and then the plan is you don't make that mistake again. So you'd rather see it out here than on a Saturday. And he's a tough kid. He's mentally tough, and he comes from a really good program, so he bounces back pretty well. Nick Polino said about a week and a half ago that the offensive line has more chemistry than it had last year. And he thinks because of that, the, chem the, the, the communication up front is going to be a lot better, so there won't be as many breakdowns. Is that, have you seen that in practice? Is that your expectation? Well, there's no question. Consistency is critical to the communication, right? If you look back last year, you had uh, Cam just joined us. Khalil didn't practice all training camp. Then we had all the guys in and out with injuries. And this year, I think we have uh, really the four guys at the tackles, the left guard and center have been pretty solid, been there every day. So there's no question communication is better. And again, the more they're together, the better the chemistry is. How has Nathan improved from the first day of camp to today? Elliot, Nathan Elliott? Yes. Nathan he, Elliot. You know, he's, uh, he's always been so consistent. And just I think just trying to have confidence in his receivers and his skill guys and really just getting that timing down, right? The more he can practice with those guys, the more he trusts what they're going to do and he can see that happening. And, um, you know, just making quick decisions. You've seen that kind of improve as we've gone throughout camp. So he, he's been so steady for so long. Uh, I don't think there's been this huge jump, but I do think that the chemistry with the guys around him has gotten better. Was he a little surprising to the staff with how, how he played against Miami and some of those late games in terms of the boys, that kind of stuff? He, maybe a little bit, you know. We've always felt like Nate was, you know, he knew what he was doing. I think the thing that stood out the most is how the team rallied behind him. I mean, there was a, you could just see that there was a, there was a high respect for him and the kids really, really wanted to perform well for him. You know, and they wanted to be protective of him. You, know, you saw one play on the bench in Miami where he got kind of pushed late and they, was, they swarmed over there. You know, there's a high care factor for him. So, and that's him earning that throughout the year and everything he does. So. I think those are the things that really stood out. I assume that's carried over throughout the offseason. No question. No question. A lot of the speed you guys have on the edge, young guys, Deami and, and Antoine examples, but how big is it for this offense to have guys that can take the top off of the defense right now? Oh, you have multiple ones. It's huge. And it's big for any offense, right? But we've all seen when we had a Matt Collins and that secondary had to be scared of us going over the top. You play a whole different. You, you just watch film from last year, and as we go through and watch the cut-ups early in the spring, they weren't threatened. So everything was like cover zero. I mean, everybody was around the box. They were like, well, you know, challenge us. They just didn't think we would do it. And so that's something now we're able to do. And so that, that helps a lot. How much more adept is Nathan at making those throws down to you? Oh, I think he's, he's fine. You know, he, he does a good job. Um, you know, he makes good decisions and, and not throwing in harm's way. And, and a lot of that's trust, you know. A lot of times those deep balls are 50-50 balls. And you got to trust that receiver's going to make the play or, at the very least, not let that defender make the play. What stands out to you about 
Cal's defense and what Will Cox has to do. You know, they play really hard. You know, that's the one thing you saw consistently throughout the years. They play hard. They play every snap. Um, and when they're the most productive is when they're creating turnovers. You know, I can't remember the staff top of my head, but it's something when, when they created two or more turnovers, you know, they held teams to under 25 points, and I think they were like four and two. And then with, with less than two, they're like one and six. So they thrive off of that. And so those are the things you can see. They're well coached, they understand their scheme, and they just play hard as a unit. Specifically about Javante Williams, uh, what he brings as a true freshman and Antonio Williams. Love Javante Williams. Maybe the, one of the more impressive freshmen I've been around. And I'm not talking about running the ball. That's there, but just his maturity, how he picked up this offense, and his pass blocking ability is really, for a freshman, I've never seen that before. He, he's just he's just an unbelievable kid. And I hope I'm not jinxing him right now, but I mean, I, I love that kid and I'm really happy he's with us. Antonio, you know, um, since day one, he's just came here and worked. He's earned the respect of his teammates. It's good to have him home. And uh, you know, I'm anxious to see what he can do on Saturday.